Welcome back to episode 4 of the solo series. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. And in this one, we do some pretty big raids on Aberration, get into loads of PvP, make huge base progression, and much, much more. So I really do hope you enjoy. Let's see if we can smash 800 likes on the video. Also, 80% of the audience that do actually watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to smash that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Right boys, the good news is that we haven't been raided. The bad news is that we haven't been on for about a whole day. Uh, so we basically missed the whole of day two just because I was at football. And then when I got back, my sessions weren't loading for a solid like four hours. Uh, so that is a fat rip. I wish I'd now went on a metal run because I would have so much metal right now. Uh, but I've got a lot of charcoal instead, which... Honestly, it's kind of nice. I just dropped that whole bag. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see what I can do now before I go off because it's obviously a school night. I don't want to go off mega late, but it's looking like I will have to. So I went over to Aberration. I went to scout most of the big spots where most of the big tribes would have built. And I found a base that was going to be extremely easy raid for some insane profit. Oh my god. This is now the freest raid, or not. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot easier now. And keep in mind, this was day two, so I didn't have insane stegos. I think this stego was a tame stego. So it was gonna be a little bit harder because they had about nine heavies, but I could basically LOS that whole base and go from there. So now the difficult part, trying to get up there. Yeah, that is not how to raid at Aberration Base. What I should have done there is whistle the Stego over the edge and then grapple onto it, get up like that, and then run underneath them cliff platforms, which I'm going to do next. I was just panicking a little bit because my stalk was very, very low. But let's come straight back over it. What are you guys thinking? Will I make this or will I not? Oh my. No way. No way. That's probably the most scoffing I've ever... The only problem is how am I going to get this generator off? I know I can third person C4, but it's at the high point of one of the cliff plats. So it's going to be a little bit harder than I thought. But they made a big mistake here by not putting any turrets underneath their cliff plats. And I didn't have enough C4 to drop a whole cliff plat, so this was going to be a little bit of a problem, but I think I can solve it. So as the generator was on top of this cliff plat, I thought if I parachute and then third person C4, I can blow the generator up because it's obviously on top of the cliff plat. Let's see how this one goes. No way! No way! No way! That's bat. That's bat powered, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that one's bat powered. Ah, oh, please be bat powered. Oh my. No way. Please have explosives somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. 
That was a pretty high IQ play from me there. Good thinking, and we got the whole base down. Now time to get some more C4, and boom the whole base. Heavy auto turret. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy. Please. Oh, all I needed is C4. We didn't get C4. Please. I've already, I've got seven minutes on that kit. So obviously I did die to the turrets at the start of the raid with a full kit on me and loads of C4. So at least I got that kit back and I could blow the vaults. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe. Please, no bags, literally no bags in four vaults. Bro, I've literally just wasted that 40 C4, 50 C4. Oh, that is a fat rip. A little bit of a rip, but we still made profit off the raid, so I'm happy with that. But we weren't done over an aberration. Time to do another raid. But hold up, before we do go on to the next raid, I actually went to tame a parasaur because I felt like they would have some reapers because honestly, they might be hiding all their loot. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Loot in, like, there's definitely something like a reaper or something. I'm hoping at least. It's probably not gonna be, but you know what? I may as well take that precaution and go tame one just so I to get that satisfaction that I know there's not a reaper and that's just GB waffling and even more disappointment hit me when I realised they didn't have no reapers or any hidden tames but anyway on to the next raid no way Bro, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just been scouting up again. I see a Jenny. Bruh. Bro, 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 bro. This looks fat too. This looks like he's gonna have profit, right? Let's go farm these flame arrows up right now, bro. Oh my god, that looks like he's gonna actually have some loot. I was just a little bit excited there, and I haven't even raided it yet. Oh, there's a guy. Yo, he was obviously coming here to do uh, Alpha Rock, bro. <gasps> oh my, let's go, bro. So I got the flame arrows and came straight back over here. Is this hitting? Please say this is him. Bro, it's him. <laughs> bro, no way. Boys, I'd like to help you out on this channel. So please, please, when always building a base, always build something around your generator so this can't happen to you. Oh, it's literally one. It's literally one. It's down. No way, bro. There's one. There's one heavy up. There's one heavy up. So they had a couple more turrets powered by a generator in the box. But these turrets were again a very easy LOS, so I could easily do this. And then I started firing rockets up towards the cliff plat so it would splash damage and blow the turrets up. Right, we it's all down bro. <laughs> it's all down. How quick did I just do that? Oh my god. No way bro. How much bullets? Oh my. Oh my. Bullet farm, you know? Absolute bullet farm. Alright, let's loot these guys. Let's loot these guys. Bloodstalker? Take that, I take that. Uh, some shoots, high med brews. I haven't had med brews for ages, and I need. Who we got here? No one. Kill this guy. You're gonna let me. And then. Um... So far, so good. Audio do be a little bit desync though, but it's all good. It don't make too much of a difference. Fabricator. 
Uh, it's alright, it's alright. Nothing too special, but it's alright. Alright, Smith E. Beautiful amount of cement and paste. Like, I actually needed that. I actually needed all of this to be fair, so. I take all these cryopods too, because I'm gonna run out of cryopods soon. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. Uh, what about in here? A lot of gunpowder. A lot of gunpowder. Nice, nice. I'm gonna blow this door just because. Never know. Could have been hiding something in here. Not. No vaults and no storage, which is weird, but. Eh, not too bad. So, all in all, a very profitable raid considering it took me about 5 minutes to frame out of the gen and get the loot, so I was very, very happy with that. So, I then transferred onto the centre, looking for some bases, and I found this base. Special, but I just thought I'd do it. Just because, why not? And they don't have uh, bullets in their turrets. Uh, that's not the right. Bro, they don't even have a fabricate here. Ah, uh, I feel I'm not. Don't think it's too good of an idea blowing into this, to be honest. Uh, I might just wait for him to come back. Because he's definitely online. Oh! No way. <laughs> right, uh, is he gonna let me break this? I'll just touch it down then. Uh. 2.5k metal, you know what bro? I don't wanna actually take this. I can't like put it nowhere though. I can. I know. There we go. We leave him the metal because it's better off in his pocket than my pocket. I don't actually need it. I then got into some PvP on center and you're gonna see in these clips how OP these net guns are, especially for a solo player without a PvP in more than one person. As you can probably tell, I was concentrating and literally wasn't saying a word into my mic. And from here, all this guy was doing is just spamming the wyvern breath and I wasn't going to risk it as my shield was on low drawer and I didn't want to die. Is it just me or am I cringing for these guys who can't kill me with two wyverns and just constant wyvern breath in me? Don't worry, I'm gonna come back for revenge. So yeah guys, sadly that is gonna be the end of today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and I'm just so excited to show you more of these videos. This is literally the best series I've ever made on this channel. But yeah, if you have made it this far into the video, please please put G9 in the comments which honestly means more than anything because it shows that you have watched the whole video. 
So yeah, have an amazing rest of the day guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And trust me, you don't want to miss it.